All right, everyone, it's time for another garden update because it's the middle of August. Only about three weeks technically left in the growing season, really. Uh, a couple of the turnips uh, on the end there got kind of rotten. Actually, one of them was almost liquefying, so I ripped some of them out on the ends. Um, I am beginning to clear things out a little bit for the year. I've been making a lot of pickles, um, which is great. The uh, cucumbers are almost going by. Uh, we may get a few more, you know, enough for a couple more pint jars of pickles, but mostly it's going to be pickled beet time because, uh, you know, I can't think of anything else to do with the beets, so they're all going to end up pickled more or less. A few might get baked and cooked uh, fresh. You can see nice, uh, nice cabbage there heading up. I didn't expect that one to, actually. But yeah, all these beets on the end can potentially, they're, they're all big enough to put in jars. These, uh, cabbages are enormous. The outer leaves are getting eaten down a little bit by something. Uh, I think it's because the little bug bag I've got up there, its uh, lure has gone by, sort of, uh, you know, been expended in its usefulness. So many peppers. I've been uh, chopping up some peppers and putting them in with the cucumbers and pickling that too. You can see uh, these uh, cucumber plants are still good. I just picked a bunch down. Um, how many pickles do you need? Ten pint jars and three quart jars from one picking. And there would have been a whole nother uh, <laughs> picking of about the same size or even a little bit more, uh, except that things had gone by because I was in the Netherlands, and so they got a little bit too aged. Look at all the fucking tomatoes. I mean, can't even eat them all. I haven't picked them so far today. There's a couple dozen that are ready. There'll be a couple dozen more by the end of the day. Those collards are enormous. Uh, everything's enormous, actually. There's one of the Black Prince tomatoes pretty much ready already. Those are good for soup and stuff, though, so I'm going to wait a little bit. See, these cucumbers, the one in the middle I need to pull out, it's dead, basically. A couple of them are still going, so, you know, there are still cucumbers being formed there. Lots of peppers here. Beans have pretty much gone by. I'll just, just sort of nip them off and plow them into the dirt. Out here, I'm going to be doing, obviously, remulching. You can see all the old cucumbers in there that didn't get used because they were too old. Uh, I'm going to have to mow this down and then apply another layer of mulch after a first uh, frost. And that's sort of how you get it. And in the spring, you put more. Lots of basil flowers in there. They sort of stole in the show. You have no idea how good this smells. I mean, I want to roll around in it, really. I guess you can basil salad. Nice flowers in there. Lots and lots of them. Those ones will flower till September. Yeah, everything, uh, other than the things that have died down more or less, everything else is still in full bloom. Oh, yeah. Wanted to show you this. Look at that odd shaped pepper. It's a Mad Hatter. And uh, those are a mild, spicy, sort of like an Anaheim, although I couldn't detect any real spiciness. And it's funny, at least one of the Anaheim plants must be a hybrid with probably a sweet banana, I would imagine, because it's got no heat, but the other one does. It has a little punch. So I took the ones that had a little bit more punch and I put them in with the uh, batch of pickles I made the other day. But I just got the cloves and shit that I'm gonna need to make pickled beets, and then I'm gonna be doing pickled peppers, uh, which will be really good. A Couple weeks and it'll be the last picking of peppers and stuff. There's enough here already to pickle, probably got anchos over there. I did manage to identify them. I uh, ate one. It was pretty good. I'm going to take those fucking ghost peppers. One of them's starting to turn orange in there. Pop those in the pickles maybe as a joke. <laughs> you can see nice uh, eggplant flower there. Nothing on the eggplant yet. No eggs. Oh my god. So yeah, everything's grown pretty well. Lots and lots of flowers still in the Nicosiana. I'm going to be spreading those around a bit. I'm going to be doing that with the chamomile too, because those, those two particular plants, I want them to come up a little bit everywhere, like in the beds, like just a few per for next year. Next year, I'm going to aim the garden more towards pickling and preserving things, I think. Um, again, may expand it in this direction, make two new beds of roughly the size of these two, and that would be the final addition, more or less, uh, in this location. It's not necessary to expand further. And down there, instead of having a bed uh, behind the target thing, I'm actually going to be uh, putting it further back, I think, 
and putting cinder blocks behind it and making it a little bit more safe because you know I want to be able to come out here and, and do it from more than do it from more than 20 or 30 feet away more easily be nicer that's about all peace out